Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm at the Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that SMP launches cryptocurrency indexes, debuting with Bitcoin and Ethereum, and it's more to come. The second thing I want to talk about it's another company which is actually investing in crypto and investing now in Ethereum. And this is Mogo and they both now Ethereum. So you can see that companies not just investing now in Bitcoin, but Ethereum is the next step. They jumping in and we can see Ethereum price going up. And the third news is all about that Spanish healthcare group is accepting crypto as payment. So another way another place, put it this way, another place where you can actually pay with your crypto already. So guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, but you would like to get daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, then here we go. Hit the subscribe button, the bell button, uh, and then all, and then you're getting the, the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And also, I made you a free course, how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. You can find the link under this video and other useful links. Links you can save money with, uh, for instance, when you register to a cryptocurrency exchange, or you would like to order a cryptocurrency card, such like crypto.com, for instance, and other opportunities. So worth to check it out. And now let's move on to the market where we can see Bitcoin 56,261 US dollar, which is almost a 4% decrease in the last 24 hours. On the other hand, Ethereum, it's still going up like crazy. Look, in seven days, the second biggest cryptocurrency went up 31% and in the last 24 hours, 5.72%. When we're looking at the top gainers, we can see waves right now, 43% up. Look at the market cap, almost 4 billion US dollar. And um, Dogecoin now going up 26%, Torchain going up 21%, and so on and so forth. So we have some nice gains. We have some losers. You know, yesterday there were, there were, there were almost no losers, but now Nano we have 9%, WeChain 8%, Neo 8%. Basically, no big deals in this top 100. When you're checking at the gainers, the losers, much bigger gainers. Ethereum, uh, what's that? Uh, Bitcoin is going rather now a bit sideways, but Ethereum is the one which is leading now the game. And now let's move on to the first news, which is all about uh, cryptocurrency indexes now already on S&P. <laughs> Yes, we can see that the world is taking cryptocurrency more and more serious, not just because investors appeared and investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. You can see major banks providing crypto custody and cryptocurrency uh, uh, services. Now new regulations are coming. So what we're experiencing now that really crypto is here. And another thing, for instance, which shows that uh, investors thinking about crypto in a serious way, that now S&P launches cryptocurrency indexes debuting with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Here they say that S&P Dow Jones indices introduces three crypto indices to bring transparency to the emerging cryptocurrency market. S&P Dow Jones Indices, a major global resource for index-based data and research, as you know, has introduced its first cryptocurrency see, indices aimed um, renewed surge on crypto market. The company announced Monday that it launched three crypto indices tied to the performance of the two largest cryptocurrencies. Obviously, this is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, the newly introduced indices included Bitcoin-based S&P Bitcoin Index, which is SPBTC. Then we have uh, Ether-based uh, S&P Ethereum Index, SPETH, <laughs> put it this way. And we have another one, which is S&P Cryptocurrency uh, Mega Cap Index, SPCMC, which is designed to track the performance of Bitcoin and 
ETH weighted by market cap. All three indices are immediately available actually on the website, so you can already see. So we do know that uh, people using these um, indices, they, 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 uh, I mean, S and P, and now it's very important that actually cryptocurrencies appeared on 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 these ones. So according to the announcement, S&P crypto uh, pricing and reference data is provided by crypto accounting and data company Luca. And uh, I actually also saying that the firms is backed by S&P DGI's parent company, S&P Global, as well as billionaire investor George Soros and accounting advisor CPA.com. And the S&P DGI initially announced it's planned to launch cryptocurrency indices in late 2021, reportedly targeting coverage up to 550 digital assets. So this was just basically the start. They going to list more and more crypto assets. And this is very important because we want crypto to get mainstream and every kind of adoption on popular uh, websites uh, and uh, also uh, appearance just more and more and uh, on a place like this s p it's i think uh, a very very uh, you know it's a spot when actually investors uh, can find it quite easily and uh, it shows that investors start to take crypto bitcoin ethereum and others serious they cannot really ignore it if s p bitcoin index is now out it means that they're really thinking about uh, bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general as an asset class and if it's an asset class uh in in many um you know people's opinion then actually it's a way to leaning it in a more mainstream uh, adoption for crypto Okay, this was the first news. The second news is about another company which is investing in crypto, Ethereum, for example. You know, basically, companies appeared since 2020. We had, you know, the big ones, which I have mentioned so many times, Square, MicroStrategy, Tesla, and some others which are getting hot uh, in crypto and they thinking crypto is a great investment and now we have another company this one is mogul and they both uh not major amount but just the fact that uh 405,880 of uh, ethereum for that amount of dollar and plans to allocate up to five percent of cash into crypto and this is actually more important the percentage because you know whatever they invest a company it depends on size so obviously if you if you are the company like uh facebook or you have tesla or you have for instance apple and then you see five percent then it's a way bigger money than this one here but actually, the fact that the company thinking to invest 5% in crypto, I think it's a major step forward. So Nasdaq traded mogul digital payment fintech company said it bought about uh, 146 Ether at an average price of 2,780 2, as part of its plan to allocate up to 5% its cash and invest portfolio to cryptocurrency so basically they already made some money on it because ethereum is like you know 3300 something at the moment mogul said it's already purchased about 18 bitcoin to date in open market transaction at an average of uh, 33,000 uh, us dollar which means almost almost doubled uh that one so these guys are also uh, doing pretty well and i just wanted to point out the thing that look not just Bitcoin is catchy for them. Also, companies now eyeing Ethereum, seeing Ethereum's great performance, Ethereum's usage as, you know, the majority, uh, the, the most platforms are built on Ethereum, basically, uh, at the moment. And uh, it takes a lot of time to take this over by other platforms, just like Polkadot or uh, Cardano, because they not even close to this. So Ethereum uh, is doing a very great job right now. And we can see now uh, investors, retail or professional investors, uh, they 
investing in Ethereum. Therefore, you can see this nice price increase what we can witnessing at the moment. Okay, and another thing uh, I would like to talk about is about uh, the healthcare uh, group in Spain because they decided they accepting cryptocurrency payments. If, we, if I have to mention a big company, then I would go with Tesla. Uh, Tesla is ex uh, accepting Bitcoin uh, if someone wants to buy a Tesla car. And uh, this was one of the big uh, announcements from a company side that, okay, here we go. You can uh, approach us with your crypto. We will accept it. No problem. And uh, now we have more and more companies. And uh, for instance, uh, a Spanish healthcare group has made the same decision. According to the uh, Forbes um, Negocios, the Spanish healthcare group, uh, Biziondo, specializing in spine treatments, will accept Bitcoin and other crypto asset payments within its clinical facilities across Spain. So these guys specialize in spine treatment, but the, point, the bottom line is that in healthcare, a private company deciding, they say, okay, guys, if you have Bitcoin, you can pay with that. <coughs> They're saying, uh, their general manager, that it's clear that the Bitcoin revolution has already started. In an economic context, in which in 2020, 60% of the world's money was printed by European, United States and Japanese central banks, a financial disaster will uh, inevitably be reached in approximately two, five years. So this is how they they viewing it. So they would like to stay on the safe side and they worried about uh, their uh, fiat. So they decided at the early stage in, in, in the company's world, because basically companies started to invest crypto just recently, that they assuming that, well, probably uh, there could be a financial disaster coming up in a couple of years and they want to uh, stay on the safe side. So they right now starting collecting uh, Bitcoin. Maybe just the clients will play with that, but maybe actually the company will invest itself. They haven't talked about uh, that. But definitely it's very important that they opening up into this direction and not just them, more and more companies following the companies which have already invested in Bitcoin or decided to accept Bitcoin from their customers. So this could be definitely a new way. And this is growing and growing faster and faster. So when it's really the hype will start, then the number of these companies can increase dramatically in a very short term, in my opinion. So guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, if you want to get the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news, then definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom. Hit the subscribe button, bell button, and all. That's it. And then you get in the notifications as soon as a new video is out. And I put these videos on YouTube every weekday. So from Monday to Friday, I keep you definitely up to date. If you're a newbie, check out our course, which is how to start to invest in Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies. It's a great course with a lot of... Um, ideas and safety steps you must do before you invest. It's totally free. You just have to download it and it is yours. Check out the other links as well. And I wish you a great day tomorrow. I'm coming back with the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Have a good one. Bye-bye.